Space Otter Charlie is available on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. I conducted this review using the PC version of the game. A big thanks to the Quantum Astrophysicists Guild for providing me with a copy of the game for the sake of review. I'm not usually the biggest fan of side-scrolling games, usually because I don't find the movement enjoyable. But that's the very core of why I was attracted to Space Otter Charlie. There's no walking at all, and you don't jump, at least in the normal sense. Since the game takes place in otter space, there's no gravity, and Charlie wears a fancy set of mag boots. This allows the furry hero to stick the ceilings and walls. When you jump, you're really just propelling yourself from surface to surface using the game's physics system, and you get a limited use jetpack to swim through space. You will navigate a variety of levels, solving puzzles and blasting bad guys all centered on top of the game's no gravity concept. You can acquire a variety of weapons and suits for Charlie, and if you have some friends over, you can take part in a versus multiplayer mode for 1 to 4 otters. After committing the ottertrocities that led to a global disaster, humans fled the planet leaving the animals in a world where the weather continued to grow ever otter. Thankfully, the furry little rascals built a ship of their own to search for a new place to settle down. Space Otter Charlie is a very cute and lighthearted game. The story isn't at all deep, but the characters and dialogue are charming. Much of the lore you pick up adds some humor, and you can even find real-world facts about otters scattered around the many stages. The game itself is split between several stages, half of which are optional. Each stage is its own self-contained mini Metroidvania, with branching pathways, locked doors, and puzzles. As I mentioned before, simply moving around the levels is an otter joy. It's fun to bounce, slide, and jetpack around, and the lack of gravity plays into the rest of the game. Many puzzles will have you landing on or pushing crates through weightless space to block lasers or push buttons. The design and use of the physics system is clever. Each stage has its own types of puzzles and quirks. One might have you weaving between laser grids, while another sends Charlie through the center of a boiling asteroid, where the walls are too hot to land on. Exploring is good for more than just completing the game. You can pick up all kinds of blueprints for shield and weapon upgrades or new spacesuits and the parts to make them. Each suit gives Charlie a very different aesthetic look, but also an exclusive gun. Sure, wearing a shark suit looks utterly ridiculous, but it sure is cute. You will use those guns to blast aggressive robots and hungry space amoebas while drifting and bouncing through each of the maze-like stages as well as a few clever boss fights. Sadly, I didn't really feel much need to use the various optional weapons. The ones you find during the main journey more than suffice, since they were the ones used in most of the puzzles, so I very rarely swap them out. I found Space Otter Charlie to be an interesting, nostalgic experience. I largely grew out of the side-scrolling genre because they made up a significant portion of what I played growing up. Space Otter Charlie managed to give me intense feelings of nostalgia in the simple joy of exploring an area, solving the puzzles, and picking up blue orbs, while still feeling fresh enough to keep me interested in the first place. Space Otter Charlie even has its own version of the Mario Superstar, and that made me smile. While I was always interested in seeing what the next stage held for me, the last level managed to catch me really off guard, and I once again felt that childhood nostalgia and excitement. Since I have largely moved on to more complex games, I had forgotten how that all felt, and I'm thankful I decided to review the game. That said, Space Otter Charlie is exceptionally simple. The puzzles are easily solved, and the game held almost no challenge for me whatsoever. A couple of later levels were a bit tricky, but the experience is very mellow and casual. Normally, I'm pretty harsh on any game that is both easy and doesn't offer difficulty settings to alter it. I think most games need to have difficulty settings that players can tweak to have the experience they want. But the fact of the otter is, exceptions do exist. Criticizing Space Otter Charlie's lack of challenge is like criticizing Dark Souls for being hard. It's the intent of the game's design, and I knew that going in. 
You don't hate on a game for knocking its literal design goals out of the park because it doesn't suit you. Space Otter Charlie is definitely aimed at a younger or more casual audience, and I'm sure they will find a lot to enjoy with it. The single player campaign is actually pretty short, however. I had completed all of it within 4 hours, and that includes the optional stages. But Space Otter Charlie also doubles as a party game where you can play 1-4 to four players in a multiplayer mode that Otter help with the replay value. The multiplayer component is surprisingly solid. It otterates on the same physics and gravity that prominently features in the single player. There is a variety of arenas, all of which have environmental hazards that the players can trigger and two modes. One's a simple death match, but my favorite involves trying to steal and munch on an urchin before the otter players can stop you. The weapons I never bothered using in the single player really shine in multiplayer as they appear as random pickups that you can use. The multiplayer is local only, but it's a lot of fun and a nice side feature that I wasn't expecting. Space Otter Charlie is cute, fun, and easy to play with clever, if simple, puzzles, enjoyable old school boss fights, and plenty to explore, find, and craft. It's a game aimed at a more casual demographic that I'm not really a part of, but that's okay, I still found a lot to appreciate. Moving around each stage by floating through space and sticking to walls remained entertaining from beginning to end, and I enjoyed using the physics system to solve puzzles. Space Otter Charlie is certainly on the short side, but the solid arena style multiplayer mode can add some replay value. Hardcore gamers won't find much to flex their gaming muscles on, but younger or more casual players should consider picking it up. Since it's aimed at them, it would be a criminal autotrocity to shame it for that. Speaking of criminal, I wonder if there's a legal limit of otter puns per video. Maybe I should contact an otter attorney. <laughs> See you on the otter side. To recap, the pros. Space Otter Charlie has a fun physics-based movement system about leaping and swimming through space. It has interesting, nostalgic gameplay that's a throwback to the glory days of side-scrollers but feels fresh. It has a solid local multiplayer party game mode. And the game is cute, wholesome, and forgiving aimed at a more casual crowd. The cons. The game is short, taking only around 4 hours to complete everything. Most optional weapons aren't worth using in the single player campaign, and the multiplayer is local only. Overall, I give Space Otter Charlie an 8.0 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, liking and subscribing is seriously helpful, but I've also left some links down in the description below. One to my website, my creator store, or my Kofi if you'd like to throw in a donation. Feel free to check any of them out. But in any case, thanks for watching, and until next time.